What did my shirt say? Five simple words. There are only two genders. Nothing harmful, nothing threatening. Just a statement I believe to be a fact. I have been told that my shirt was targeting a protected class. Who is this protected class? Are their feelings more important than my rights? That, that's my boy right there. That's my boy right there. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, go and get you one of these shirts. We have a whole bunch of shirts that are similar to this. We got anti-grooming social, not my kid. I think I got not my kid over here somewhere. I'll find it at another time. Go on the website. We'll have not my kid. Here we go. We got shirts that not my kid. Not my kid to support standing up against this foolery that they're pushing on our children and trying to indoctrinate them and fool them. It's not going to work. We're going to stand up and show our support. So go to the website. Link is in the description. The discount code is right here. Um, go to TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, I make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I almost, almost teared up when I watched this. Because I don't like to get emotional. That's the only reason why I didn't. But this young man right here, it's, it's crazy to me. When you Wait till you hear what he has to say. It is crazy to me that we are even having these conversations in our schools. It is absolutely asinine to me that a young man can see the light in a way in which adults are too cowardice to see how is it that this young person have more sense more courage and i know he got good parents i mean that's that goes without saying then the adults at the school why let me say this real quick and then i'm gonna play why isn't a teacher saying what he's about to say i want you to process this in your mind why isn't a teacher getting ready to say or have said or have written a statement, have stood up for the kids to say what this boy about to say. Let me say this. You're my hero, young man. Somebody can find his parent, tell him, what, send him the video. You are my hero. You have courage. You are brave. You are a generational changer. And I pray that God bless you every step of the way in your life because this is changing America. This young man will change America. Our young people are the future. God bless you, young man. Let me put, let me play the video. Roll the clip. In the seventh, tenth grade at Nichols Middle School, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. I never thought that the shirt I wore to school on March 21st would lead me to speak with you today. On that Tuesday morning, I was taken out of gym class to sit down with two adults for what turned out to be a very uncomfortable talk. I was told that people were complaining about the words on my shirt, that my shirt was making some students feel unsafe. Yes, words on a shirt made people feel unsafe. They told me that I wasn't in trouble, but it sure felt like I was. I, told, I was told that I would need to remove my shirt before I could return to class. When I nicely told them that I didn't want to do that, they called my father. Thankfully, my dad supported my decisions and came to pick me up. What did my shirt say? Five simple words. There are only two genders. Nothing harmful, nothing threatening. Just a statement I believe to be a fact. I have been told that my shirt was targeting a protected class. Who is this protected class? Are their feelings more important than my rights? I don't complain when I see pride flags and diversity posters hung throughout the school. Do you know why? Because others have a right to their beliefs just as I do. Not one person, staff, or student told me that they were bothered by what I was wearing. Actually, just the opposite. Several kids told me that they supported my actions and that they wanted one too. I experienced, wait a moment. I was told that the shirt was a disruption to learning. No one got up and stormed out of class. No one burst into tears. I'm sure I would have noticed if they had. I experienced disruptions to my learning every day. Kids acting out in class are a disruption, yet nothing is done. Why do the rules apply to one, yet not another? I feel like these adults were telling me that it wasn't okay for me to have an opposing view. Their arguments were weak, in my opinion. I didn't go to school that day to hurt feelings or cause trouble. 
I have learned a lot from this experience. I learned that a lot of other students share my view. I learned that adults don't always do the right thing or make the right decisions. I know that I have a right to wear those five, a shirt with those five words. Even at 12 years old, I have my own political opinions and I have a right to express those opinions. Even at school, this right is called the First Amendment to the Constitution. My hope in being here tonight is to bring the school committee's attention to this issue. I hope that you will speak up for the rest of us so we can express ourselves without being pulled out of class. Next time, it may not only be me. There might be more students that decide to speak out. Thank you for your time and good night. Thank you. What a wonderful, intelligent, kind-spirited young man. I cannot believe that these kids have to go through this. I, I cannot believe it. This young man simply wore a shirt that said there's only two genders. How in the, is that not a biological fact that a school should receive and accept? He said nobody even complained about the shirt. The administration, the adults in the room are complaining about the shirt. Kids are probably flashing each other, spitting on each other, punching each other, sex in the classroom. I mean, the kids probably doing everything at the school, and they won't even suspend these kids. Kids can't even learn because somebody throwing a tantrum. And the boy had a T-shirt on expressing an opinion. It's an opinion, bruh. And if a kid had... There is multiple genders. They wouldn't say nothing to him. Like, 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 these kids are equal, right? This kid has an opinion. This kid has an opinion. Why can't you teach these kids that it's okay that the person have a difference of opinion? Even if the person is ignorant, it's their opinion. If you don't like their opinion, it's okay. They may not like your opinion. You want to have a debate or challenge that opinion, you guys can have a peaceful discussion on why your opinion about what you believe is right versus what the other person believes. What are they, like everybody should go to prison who are indoctrinating these kids to be feckless and unable to debate and unable to understand the difference between somebody's opinion. And it's not hurtful to have an opinion. And it's obvious that that opinion makes sense because biologically XXXY chromosomes tells the story of DNA strands and how there's only male and female. Biblical doctrine shows there's only male and female. Even in evolution, how do you think the humans reproduced? There must have been male and female. There is no evidence to suggest anything different. So the more correct kid would be the young man in this video. How is that not a reality? Why are they doing this to our kids? How are people not going to prison? Why are teachers not standing up and saying, enough is enough, I'm not teaching these kids this stuff? Why y'all so cowardice? Y'all can walk out because they don't pay you enough. Walk out because they're indoctrinating young babies that you claim to care about. That's why you signed up to do the job. It, it baffles me that a young kid has to write a speech like that in 2023. It is mind-boggling. They make me want to make a shirt now and say there, there ain't but two. I'm going to make a shirt that says there ain't but two genders. And I'm going to sell that thing around the whole world. And if this kid got a little fund or something, I'm going to donate money to his fund with that shirt. It, it's, it, I've had enough. And, and it's sad that we even have to address these things. A young man should be able to go to school with his opinions. A Christian should be able to wear Christian stuff. A Muslim should be able to wear Muslim stuff to school, whatever it came to be. If you, they let you be gay, well, you could be proud of being straight. People should be able to have difference of opinions. That's what makes you more intelligent, smarter, better. It's crazy to me, man. Y'all comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share this video with this kid. I know somebody know his parents. Share it with them and tell them how much I appreciate their uh, doing their part in this world by creating the next generation of a brilliant, effective, efficient, competent young people that are going to change the world. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.